First responders tell KFDM News the attacks of September 11, 2001 have a profound impact on them 13 years later. KFDM's Nicole Murray joins us to explain how a memorial ceremony in Beaumont allowed first responders to share their feelings. Nicole? Well, Kelly, every year Beaumont Fire Rescue plays host to 9-11 Memorial at the fire station on College Street. The event includes speeches, a moment of silence, and a lot of symbolism. First responders rang a bell to remember all the victims of the attacks. Beaumont Fire Police and EMS took part, as well as military personnel. The mayor, the fire chief, and the police chief explained how they view this day and what it means to them. Y'all are here because you're trying to provide the safest future that you can possibly provide for these ladies and gentlemen over here. It makes us pause for a moment and, and think about the people we have in our own town that do the same thing for other people. Today, let's remember those, those that fell, but also thank those that are still with us and that continue to protect us each and every day. And tonight, LIT is hosting its annual Salute to Real American Heroes. The event honors first responders, and tonight it'll pay special tribute to four Houston firefighters who died while battling a hotel fire. Reporting live in studio, Nicole Murray, KFDM 6 News. And if you're looking for a place to pay your respects locally to the people who lost their lives in the September 11th attacks, you may want to visit the 9-11 Memorial Garden at Terrell Park. Donations helped pay for the memorial. It features a grand entrance with eagles that represent America's freedom. You'll also see replicas of the Twin Towers and a statue that represents the canines that played a big part in the rescue recovery. There are also features that honor the victims of 9-11. And it is a hollered grounds because we have soil from the three different locations, the Pentagon, the Twin Towers, and Shanksville, Pennsylvania. It's very, very uh, quiet and peaceful. Flowers throughout are more than two dozen gardens at Terrell Park are all red, white, and blue, and the park is wheelchair accessible.